What the hell is that? Lava Burst increases damage by 30%. Hey, this is Tickle, and in this video, we're going over another elemental legendary on my beautiful orc named Gushing Wounds. We're gonna go ahead and check it out just like we've been checking out a lot of the other legendaries. Put down in the comments if there's any particular legendary you'd like me to check out. I'm not whispering this video. Let's freaking get into it. Now, this legendary says when you consume six or more stacks of Fulmination with Urshak, gain Lava Surge, and increase the damage of your next Lava Burst by 6%. Okay, interesting. A lot of people in BFA missing the Legion Meatball builds, and I understand why it was so satisfying having those come in hot. But let me explain really quick how the Elemental Shaman works so that why this Legendary is talking about Fulmination and all that in case you are new to the B uh, so that, sorry Shadowlands beta. Here's the deal. <laughs> Elemental Shaman reworked. We now... Every time we cast a lightning bolt, we get a stack of what is called Fulmination. You have a chance to get two sometimes if you if you uh, overload, right? So I can go ahead and stack this up. This stacks to eight stacks as I kind of cast it. Wow. Actually, one of the reasons why it's getting two stacks is because I'm going to confuse everyone, but this one, lightning bolt has a 30% chance to generate uh, a uh, an extra stack of Fulmination. But anyway, you, what you need to know is it gets up to eight stacks. After eight stacks, it doesn't go any higher. So that's what it's talking about, about Fulmination stacks. What does this do? It says you're going to add zero damage. Basically, when you Earthshock now, what happens is the following. You will Earthshock, which doesn't have a cooldown. And when you Earthshock, you'll see right here, Earthshock does a very fixed amount of damage. And then Fulmination adds a chunk of damage to that, 1,000 damage. Okay? That is, so I can Earthshock spam right now, but it's, it's nothing, right? But when I use the Lightning Bolt... It's going to give me these stacks, so I, I can Urshock at any point. When I have three stacks, I Urshock, Fulmination hits, right? So it's not hitting that hard, but it is what it is. So this Legendary specifically works with Fulmination, saying six or more stacks of Fulmination with your Urshock gain Lava Surge. Lava Surge is a, in, when, it, when it procs, it gives me an instant cast Lava Burst. Lava Burst is a great ability. It uh, does a lot of damage. It does a decent amount of damage now in Shadowlands. And when uh, and if there's a Flame Shock on the target, it will 100% crit every single time. And as an Elemental Shaman's Mastery, it has a chance to overload like you just saw to cast twice. With all casted abilities, it basically does that, right? So that was just one, but as a that's my Mastery. So for this one, it says gain Lava Surge and increase the damage of your next Lava Burst by 6%. In my opinion, just looking at this, if you were just looking at this, I could I could guess your reaction. It sounds great, Blizzard. It sounds so nice to get that Lava Burst increased damage. But 6%, that's not a lot. And you're not wrong there, friends. I'm not going to lie to you. 6% to me is not a big number, especially... I don't know, man. It's just not that big of a number. But here's the thing. A lot of times, Lava Burst enhanced damage is a little bit tricky to kind of think about. Because what, remember when I said that every Lava Burst crits? Meaning that if I increase Lava Burst base damage by, let's say, like, a hunt, like whatever. Let's just say my base damage of Lava Burst, I increase it by 10%. Okay, as an easy number. When I crit, crits get double the damage, right? So if you... And actually... Ellie's get um, particularly special. They get this. You're damaging critical spells deal 250% damage instead of the usual 200. Every other class in the game gets 200% crit damage on a spell. This one does uh, Ellie's get 250. So when you think about it, 6% onto a Lava Burst is actually more like increasing its total output by 12%. It's a little unfortunate that this was the same thing that happened with Azerite traits, seeing the Igneous Potential and being like, I don't know if this is good because this number seems small. But then it gets doubled. So that's just something you got to think about with Ellie. And I know if you're not an Ellie, you're like, Tickle, shut up and just use it. But we're going to go ahead and do some tests here, right? So we're going to go ahead and use this Lava Burst. We're going to do Baseline Lava Burst. You're seeing that I'm critting for 2280. That I crit for 2305. They also added in variations to the amount of damage that you do with spells. Unfortunate, right? But it is what it is. Lava Burst crits. Yep, yep, yep. It crits every time, like I said. Okay, there was an overload. You saw that. So that was 2215 plus 1.9 overload. Right? We're typing these out because we want to we want to keep track. Another 2.1. Another 2.3 or 2.2, whatever. Right. So we're about like 2.25. Like that's about where and then and then an overload. So now what we want to do is we want to test what happens when you use this legendary. What does that lava burst damage go up to? Because we would like to know, chat. We would like to know. Let's go ahead and get this pumping up there. Let's go ahead. and We're over six. We're feeling strong. We're feeling ready. Here we go. Earthshock. 
Who cares? Then we go Lava Burst. We got a 3k in there. Now this is a buff. What the hell is that? Lava Burst increases damage by 30%. Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? That's uh, alarming. Okay, so what we got there was we got a 3k. We got a 2.9k. We got... A 2.2k. So we got... 2.2 uh, must have been... I don't know, man. That's so. I'm a little like confused, right? Because as this is this is purely a testing video, I think this could be a good one. But now we're testing, right? So let's go ahead and get up. Let's get that buff up, bit buff going again, and increases the damage of your next lava burst by six percent. Let's go ahead and just use the earth shock. Can I use it? Now I got the lava surge, but I got this buff. It says thirty percent. That's not six percent. What the hell, Blizzard? You bazinged me. 30%'s incredible. And it applies to more than one. Okay, so that lava burst hit for 2.9k. It overloaded, I believe. Maybe it didn't. Okay, that's really weird. So again, tooltip confusing the tickle. 30% is a nice number to see. We were all thinking, dude, 6%? Okay, maybe it's 12%, but doesn't seem that good. Now, I mean, unless I have something in my covenants, right? Or, like, in my covenant or my, like, conduits, right? No. What the heck? So, we're kind of we're kind of confused here. Guys, if I'm missing it, put it down in the comments. We're going to do this again. Ready? Urshock. Now, we're going to... Okay. Do you know what this means, chat? And comments? It, st it stays up for how long is the buff? It doesn't even say it's a buff. It says that it would be, like, your next lava burst. But it's a buff. I just did it again. So, now we're going to... If we permanently have this 30% buff, I'm going to freak. Because you know what thing synergizes really well with Lava Burst like that? Daddy Ascendance, man. Daddy Ascendance. Please let me go into it. Come on, video game. You can do this. You can do this. Okay. So now what we have is we have a combination. We have we can get our, our, our... It's all about Fulmination, so we got to keep that rock and we got to keep those stacks high. Now what we should be able to do is we should be able to, wow, okay, consume that, Lava Burst, and then I should be able to pop, like, even Echo, and Lava Burst very hard. Now I'm getting 30%, now I'm getting increased damage from here. Is this, is this going to become a thing? Is this going to become a thing? Okay, all right, we need to take it, take it back, take it back, slow it down, slow it down. All right, let's go ahead and look at the logs here. We did a lot of things, I want to just say... Was not expecting that this day. I was not expecting to be impressed by this legendary this much, but it is looking pretty interesting, especially because Lava Burst is the long lost meatball. Okay, we love the Lava Burst. So let's go ahead and see. All right, so we go. We were ramping up with my lightning bolts, right? Then I, then I, let's see with the Earth Shock. That's when we know we get the buff. All right, we get the buff here, and then I Lava Burst for two point nine, right? And then we go into, and then I echoed, and then I went into Ascendance, and then I Lava Burst for 3.3 to 3.4k. And then I just started cranking. Oh no, Blizzard, why do you play with my heart? We have a 2.9 overload. That is, this is a very shocking to me. And that's not a pun either. We got 3.4. We got remember we're critting 100 percent of the time, and then it goes down. So that's after. Okay, okay, Blizzard, we're feeling really nice about this. So and here's what here's the deal. This legendary actually could be pretty dope for a few specific reasons. If I were to go into, let's just say, a battleground or an arena and pop off with Sky Fury. And then that, that's going to increase my damage by 20%. Sky Fury increases that spell crit damage by 20% anytime I get a crit. So this is the, this is actually looking like surprisingly a good legendary, but it all circles around. Is that 6% the right number? Or did Blizzard totally trick me? It's unknown right now, but I do believe that was a pretty awesome burst. The other thing that we can think about too is I should really go Echo of the Elements for this case. But it's it's actually actually no that's good yeah we take that all right so now we're gonna we're gonna do it one more time right we're gonna use earth shock now we can lava burst another lava burst I'm gonna put another flame shock up 
Okay, it's like, okay, I don't have any stacks yet. Okay, lava burst. It's again, a 30, 30%. I've gotten one, two, three. I think I've gotten four lava bursts out so far. Okay, so four lava bursts. Now I gotta build up a little bit. Build up a little bit. We get Urshock. So the, it, what Urshock is doing is it's triggering lava burst to increase damage. It's not doing damage itself, and that's something that people have to get their heads around for Shadowlands. Shadowlands is not about the Urshock Big Dam. It's about your casted abilities. Blizzard, is, I really do believe, is trying to make them feel good, and they're trying to do it on many classes, which I do appreciate, and that's the whole thing. Elemental has changed from a Builder Spender to this. Now we're kind of Builder Spendering this Fulmination, but Fulmination is easy to get, brother. We Ascend. We Lust. We Lust, baby. We Lust. We, and then we start chunking. We're going to use uh, Echoing Shock here. We're going to get that big damn going. We're going to get that big damn going. Daddy is excited. Big damn, dude. Now that feels good. That felt good. Ascendance hasn't been used in a hot minute. A in PvP, a freaking longer hot minute. A hot few hours. A hot fortnight. But uh, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I was not expecting this. And I, I want to say I'm really excited. Uh, this makes me feel like uh, Ellie might have some hidden gems that people just haven't tested yet because a lot of people are focused on the existing gameplay style and the existing rotation, etc. I think Blizzard may have low-key altered and given us some different playstyles given the legendaries. We're going to keep testing, though. Guys, I want to thank you guys so much for checking this out. Let me know in the comments what you think. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to stop by the stream. If you want to see testing, we're going to be playing the beta every day, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at uh, twitch.tv slash tickle this. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for all the love. Take care, everybody. Wow.